Our committee's executive session is wrapping up right now, and that's where we find NBC 15's Kate Pabish. Kate, what's next for this controversial bill that would allow workers to opt out of paying union dues? It hasn't passed out of committee right yet, but I did speak with the Republican chair of the committee, Andre Jacques, who told me there's not a doubt in his mind that this will pass out of committee tonight and be ready for debate on the full assembly floor tomorrow. And with the Republicans outnumbering Democrats on the committee two to one, it seems like a pretty fair assumption to make. Now, Governor Scott Walker also making the assumption that this bill is going to be on his desk by the end of the week, despite the 24 hour long marathon session scheduled in the assembly tomorrow to debate right to work. We had found consistently when consulting with site selectors across America, particularly when it comes to manufacturing, but true in other areas as well, one of the things that's always on their checklist of questions to ask is where you stand in terms of the freedom to work legislation. By passing that and by us signing it into law on Monday, it gives us one more tremendous tool. Assembly Democrats say they're ready for this fight, asking for some amendments today that they say just make sense. Now, one would postpone the effective date to 90 days later. Another would create a sunset provision, dissolving the law in three years if wages actually drop instead of rise. And a third would do away with the criminal penalty. We're literally saying a process that has been legal and encouraged under, under uh, state and federal law uh, for decades will become a crime the day after this bill passed. A class A misdemeanor, again, nine months in jail or a $10,000 fine or both. That seems unreasonable to us. Now, already Democrats upstairs in the committee have, have tried to get four amendments through. So far, two of those were not adopted, but they can still bring them up on the full assembly floor tomorrow. They're expected to start debating this bill specifically at 1 o'clock, and they could last all the way until Friday morning at 9. Reporting live at the Capitol, Kate Pavish, NBC 15 News. Kate, thanks. A law requiring 